Yeah, and if you want any indication of how much this crossing guard was loved by his students, just take a look at the memorial that they built out here for him at this intersection just within the past 24 hours. We're also told that this was the chair that he used to sit in as he was waiting for the students to approach this corner. And now so many of them are left wondering who is responsible for leaving this seat empty. There's a street corner in Redlands where a wild wave and a big bubbly smile were burned into the brains of countless children. How did you feel when he would say hi to you? Happy. Crossing the street on their way to Lagonia Elementary School. I remember him as a joyful guy. It's been hard on fifth grader Chase Hernandez. He's a little sad. I understand. Yeah. Losing the town's most memorable crossing guard, Leonard Bam Bam Ortiz. And he was a part of my life, you know. It's been hard on their parents, too who happily waved back at him for years and now remembered him by candlelight at the busy intersection where he always kept their kids safe. When I heard about this, uh, it broke my heart, you know, and that's why I came here today. At 6.30 Tuesday morning, Ortiz was killed while riding his scooter to work on Colton Avenue. Investigators just released this new security video. They believe the person driving this silver or gray Toyota Sequoia or similar SUV ran a red light, hit Ortiz, and continued traveling westbound onto the 10 freeway. His personality was he'll help anyone. And you would think that, you know, if, in this circumstance, like someone was stopping to help him, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. And until that driver is identified and caught. And he remembered him. He remembered him by his name. Ortiz's community full of friends. Felt like you were part of his family just by passing him every morning. Is keeping his spirit alive by saying goodbye the way he always said hello. I know, wait with the big smile. <laughs> And if you recognize that SUV, contact the Redlands Police Department. Reporting live in Redlands, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.